try not to die. I got another video to post. About broke my arm. Got my packages in. Got it all done. I think it looks a lot better. This right here, this ZT, that is that top battery. Gonna be leaving for Texas. Uh, gonna be bringing my twin brother. And uh, we're gonna do, a bus looks just like this, except it's uh, kind of a mint color. It's a pretty bus. So I'm gonna be putting the batteries and the wake speed and uh, getting everything tuned up on it. So it should be a fun trip. My brother's got a drone, so I think we're gonna try to do a drag race. Hey guys, I am gonna do a video here on getting my solar installed. Got a plan, I'll put it up here for where I want my panels up top. And I'm gonna have them, the wires basically, if you can see that TV antenna up there, they'll come straight down through. And then the refrigerator's back here and they'll come down right above there. And I'll have a couple of disconnects, one at 20 and one at 30 amp. And then I've got this solar charge controller. I screwed up and I got blue solar instead of smart solar. I don't know why. And then I got the other smart solar 120 there. Um, I've just been playing with it for right now. But right now I've got, I'm trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. I've got my batteries. I've got all of this and this my generator start stop and then I've got all of this stuff up here it's starting to become a lot um, I've got my inverters the data for it I've got these breaker boxes <clears throat> what I was trying to do was have like an AC and a DC and uh, by the time I get these two boxes installed. I want to disconnect before and after and then run them to here. I've also got up here, I've got a 12 volt and a 24 volt uh, kind of bus bar area. Just trying to figure out how to get all this crap in. I think I'm going to take this off and this off and this off and see what that kind of looks like all right so this is what i landed on um i ended up moving the charger from there over i got rid of one of these i mounted this solar charge controller there this one here and what i'm looking at doing is i'm going to bring my solar down from up here mount two switches to turn them off and uh, route the wire in and up into the solar charge controllers and then from here I'm trying to look at maybe I'll put a wood panel in here and cover it with like the same material and put like a breaker fuse panel in and get rid of this one because what I've got coming to it is my 24 volt air pump that I use for the uh, toilet and the backup I've also got this. So this is 12 amp. I think that one's like 8 amp. And then I think I'll have up to 30 amps on this and 20 amps on that. And so, of course, they wouldn't all be used at the same time. So I think the most I'd have is uh, 30 and 20. If they were given out 100% of their rated capacity, I'd have 50 amps. So I was gonna use like a number six and come down to the battery um, and in the air pump and in this guy it would suffice for the air pumps only on for two minutes I think and um, if the air pump pump were running it would pull straight through so I think I think that'll work um, so I'm gonna look into what to get for here remove this fridge now so I'm gonna drill a hole up there for the solar to come down but what I've got to do is I've got to take off these two cabinet doors I've got to take off the fridge doors and then I've got to take this off the top and then there's a strap 
underneath a metal bracket that holds the refrigerator in as well. So if I'm lucky, it'll be like an hour to get all that off. So I got her out and uh, this is the inside. Um, here is the uh, servo guy that I put in. So I cut that hole and then I ran it and then it goes straight down there. So what I'm wanting to do is I need to drill a couple of holes up this way to get my solar wire down and then I want to bring it back against the wall and uh, run it straight down into that hole into that bay. So now this is that plywood. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do. I, there's screws that hold this up but I'm not sure how far like if I start taking this apart, is this gonna start taking all of this stuff apart? So might play with that. It'd be nice to pull that out and then just go straight through the roof and then route everything real nice like uh, these guys did and then route it down. So I'm gonna try to uh, take that out. <sighs> About broke my arm, but I cut a hole through here. This piece goes all the way across. So I couldn't get it out. So I can back up here. So now I just got that out. Now I'm gonna figure out, I think this is to my roof deck. So that's where I'm gonna cut my holes for the solar. And then uh, there's already a wire right there. Um, so maybe I'll try to, I think that's it antenna. I can rip it off and uh, Bring my solar down through there and then I can route it back over and uh, I don't know if I want to drill a hole here I could just run it straight down and then curve it out I think that's what I'm gonna do I got a mess clean up oh, that's probably good for one night well it's uh, Thursday evening got my packages in and I uh, might try to get some stuff put on the bus this evening uh, look and see what time it's supposed to rain but I got some butyl sealed tape uh, I got me some Y connectors so I can connect my uh, strings of solar panels together I got two of these one of them I got uh, earlier this week but this is to disconnect uh, the line coming down from the solar panel. Um, this is for one of my solar controllers. I didn't notice I got the blue solar instead of the smart solar. Um, this is one of my uh, bus blocks um, so that I can have the uh, solar power feed into it. Um, these are all of the connectors that I need to connect to the uh, different things. This is some 10 gauge red and black. Uh, this is an extra 10 feet if I need it. Um, and this right here is to come through the roof uh, in the two points with 10 gauge wire and there's 10 feet on this. So I can plug, what I'll do is I'll plug uh, these into here and then I'll run my three strings of my 130 watt panels into there. And then I'll run my 240 watt panels into this one. And in this, it, oh, I've got some, uh, uh, what is it, die core sealant. And then I found this. Um, what I don't have is like a buddy plug. So I can make 240 volt power from my inverters and batteries, but uh, I don't have any way to use it. So I bought this thing. It wasn't that expensive, but I thought I'd 
mount this inside my inverter area and then I can provide uh, 240 volt um, come from my generator or the uh, batteries and inverter. So I've got uh, my two panels here. I've got the other six inside of there and I'm all ready to go, I think. So here I am up on top of the roof and I'm trying to get this old antenna off. Um, this is one of the holes where the wires come down and I'm thinking the control wires come through there. So I'm gonna work on trying to get this off and I'm gonna use those two existing holes and then fill in some of these other ones. Well, I'm starting to get some of the stuff up here switched up where I'm gonna put them. Um, I'm gonna put one here and one there for the 240. And then uh, one of the 130, 130, and then two 130s and then two more 130s. So I'm gonna go get them and make sure they fit up here and then start laying out where I want the uh, cable entrances to go. <clears throat> These guys. <laughs> I need to probably close these holes up and then uh, then I'll just probably take this and patch the uh, the littler holes. All right, so I got them all up here. So I got my 240, 130, 130, 240. See if I can back up. And then I've got two more 130s, two more 130s. So got them all up here and uh, the only thing I'm not crazy about is a shadow that'll get cast on these but um, what are you gonna do <clears throat> I think the rest of this stuff will be fine I think I'll get a shadow you know on these I'll try to pull I'm already getting a shadow here but the sun's sun's going down um what sucks is is i put up i'm gonna put those in series and uh if that one back there gets full sun and this one gets a shadow this is that's the max it's gonna put out so i don't know I'll play around with it but um wanted to make sure they fit first and so now i'm gonna get these holes cleaned up see if i can get the wires down through it and get that water tight uh, we're supposed to have rain tonight and tomorrow, of course. <laughs> well, I whipped it into high gear and I got all these connectors in. So I got these in series and then it runs off to here. These in series run off to there. The big one, this one in series runs off to that back side. And then those two are in series and then Whip around and uh, try not to fall off the roof parallel into here. So I've got it all watertight, everything zipped up. Need to do some cable management tomorrow, but just wanted to get it all wired. So it wasn't really that hard. So it's kind of raining out a little bit, but I got it wired up last night. It's uh, Frankenstein inside, but it's the cables are, are run on top, but they're not placed. But I'm getting um, in this cloud cover, and the sun's coming up over that way. I'm getting three watts on the 240 volt string and six watts on the 130 watt string. So I got nine watts coming in already. Well, see, end of the day, uh, Friday, um, panels were up. It was kind of a dreary overcast day and I got, I'll put it up on the screen, but I think it was like 1.6 and 2.8 kilowatts in the uh, rain and clouds. It's just now kind of clearing up, but we're supposed to have more of the same tomorrow. So, um, did pretty good, I think. Oh, they're dirty now too. 
and I've got, I don't know if you can see over there, I've got cords on some of those in the back and I need to get everything straightened up. I basically just kind of um, laid them up here and then I wired them up. I wanted to see. Ugh. Try not to die, I got another video to post. Um, let's see if this stuff dried. Oh yeah. So these are my boxes, of course. And so I just ran that wire down last night. And uh, yeah, I got a cord, cord draped over that. So that's not helping and a cord draped over that. So that would, damn it. That would pull some of it off. Stick that underneath. Well, I pulled the cords off of it. I mean, I'll never know. I don't know how much that affected it. When I was playing with it, it kind of depends where you are in this stuff. And this is SIGS. So it's like copper. It's not the monocrystalline. So, I mean, you can really bend this stuff. Um, It's kind of crazy how this stuff works, but that's got to help. I think if it doesn't rain tomorrow, um, I'll probably work on sticking these down. Uh, the back of them has these adhesive pieces, and uh, I'll stick them down, and then I'll work on some cord management. And then I'll show you the mess I got downstairs. There, I got on the other side of the fridge. I basically ran the cords straight down and in that hole. Um, and then these are the antenna wires I got to cut. I need, I want to take them back to the source. I'm not real sure where the source is, so we'll see how well I can do. But it, all I did was I ran the wires down that hole and then I'll show you on the outside. So here's the cords, <clears throat> excuse me. I ran down the hole. Um, basically, they were gonna become live. So I ended up putting them in these boxes uh, so that I can control it. And then I was like, well, shoot, um, what would it take to finish this up? So I got some wire out and just wired them to my solar controllers. And then I just ran these up to my fuse block and I put a 30 and a 20 in there. Um, this wire back here is uh, 10 or an eight, um, and it did fine. It charged everything up. So I've got a, got another fuse block in here somewhere, this guy. Um, I'm gonna wire it up back behind and make everything look real nice and tidy. I'm gonna try to put these on that wall over here. But basically I wanted a way to shut the, um, solar panels off and then also uh, that fuse block I can pull the fuse and turn the batteries um, pull the power off I can also just turn the batteries off as well but not too bad for a for a cloudy day I got a mess in here to clean up and hopefully if it doesn't rain tomorrow I'll uh, get all that done It'd be nice to get all that put to bed um, and then the other is I got my buddy plug. Uh, I'll try to go ahead and get wired up as well. But yeah, it's like nine o'clock right now. And uh, we just kind of got back, but yeah, pretty happy with the, with what I got out of it. So it'd be interesting to see what she does without the wires on top uh, draped over it and some sunshine. Well, here's my current status. I. Uh, it's a mess. <clears throat> um, still cloudy today and uh, still getting pretty decent, four to 600 watts maybe, watt hours in. I've got to go get some uh, hardware for inside the bus. I've been trying to pre-run as much as I can before I shut the system down, trying to get it to charge up, up to like 82%. Um, but uh, this is the current status, so got a little ways to go to get her all cleaned up. Well, we're back inside. This is my fridge. 
I ended up taking those wires and uh, routing them back cleanly to go down and uh, slid the fridge back in. It's like 85 degrees. It's got to be 90% humidity. So I think that's all I'm going to do right now inside here. Well, good morning, guys. I ended up uh, rewiring this and got it all done. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, still got the door I'll throw on the front of there, but um, I've got the the six 130 watt panels go to that and the two 240 go to this. Um, I've got my two circuit breakers. Um, that's from the PV panels, so I can turn them off. And then I've got a fused um, back here. I wish I had a ton of room to lay it all out nicely, but there's just a lot going on in here. But from a from a high level, um, everything's in there and everything's working good. Just uh, we don't have any weather right now. So I'm hoping Tuesday or Wednesday we're supposed to get some sunlight and uh, we'll see how she does. So I'll show on the screen up here. <clears throat> Even with this cloudy and weather and rain, I'm still able to get uh, about 2.5, 2.8 uh, kilowatt and about one and a half kilowatt um, from the panels. So what is that? Two, three, four, four kilowatt in the in the shade, I guess you could say. Um, so be pretty interesting to see what I get in the sun. Um, I go down to about 60% and I've gone up to about 80% battery. So I don't know, four, what is that? 4,000 Watts, uh, made in a day for the shade. Um, it's not too bad, uh, with only 1200 Watts of panel, I guess, but it'd be interesting to see what we get in full sunshine all day long. And I still haven't uh, stuck the panels down up there. I was gonna move them around and I still have to clean it. Um, I haven't had a chance. It's just been rain. Um, I haven't had a chance to go up there and clean the, uh, the aluminum deck to stick it down. Plus I'd like some sun so that I can try to figure out where shadows are in the best placement of it. So um, I don't know. I've got to go in now and clean up this mess I made. Um, I guess it doesn't really look like it now, but it, it's it's a disaster in here. I got to put all of this stuff back together um, in the fridge and and all of that. Put the cabinet doors back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that on while it's kind of crappy outside and get everything cleaned up and uh, we'll see how she works um in what two more weeks i'm going to be going to texas so it'd be nice to have this thing uh all ready to go well good morning guys it is about 7 17 in the morning and it's supposed to be clear today it's a little hazy uh, tomorrow's supposed to be totally clear all day long. So last night, I the batteries got up to about 90%. So I turned on the electric water heater and ran it down to about 60, I think. And it took it down to 45. I, I can't remember. I'll put it up here on the screen. But we're supposed to have a pretty clear day today. So trying to see kind of what the solar harvest yield will be and if my batteries get full charged um, it'll cut it off and i'll never know so i want to try to get this data so that we can try to figure out um, one you know what kind of loads do i get and what kind of solar do i get um so i don't know we'll see what uh what today brings and I'll probably do this on Thursday, and then I'll put a video up on Friday. I did uh, last night. Um, I forgot to close this. So I was running that um, 
heater and then the <clears throat> inverters turned on. I did clean these panels. Uh, this tree, it's just got a ton of pollen coming down on it and with all the rain, those panels were dirty. So I did wipe them off. I haven't stuck them down yet. This is the first day of sun. Uh, Want to clean the bus roof off and uh, stick them down. So I'll probably do that. I don't think I can do it this evening. So maybe Thursday. And then uh, I got to get it ready for my trip to Texas. But um, at any rate, I'll uh, we'll see what she does today. I got almost uh, 7,000 watts of solar. Uh, we still have some day left, so it'll probably get, it's 6.9 kilowatts, so we'll probably get at least seven. Um, not as much as I thought I'd get. I ended up, like I said, I turned the uh, electric water heater on to pull it down. So tomorrow looks like it's supposed to be clear the entire day. So I'm gonna wait uh, until I get that information and I'll still end up posting the video uh, on Friday. But uh, I'd like to see what I get in clear skies. But you know, I guess 7,000 watts isn't isn't that bad. Nothing to shake a stick at. But um, yeah, still trying to, I'll try to put some numbers together and see what that means as far as um, like the consumption, the water heater running things like that. Because I ended up, I turned that water heater on and I also turned the fridge on. So right now, less, you know, without the water heater on, it's probably the whole bus is on, the inverters are on, all the AC, the electrical, the battery chargers, um, the refrigerator. So it's kind of what what we would have on. And so kind of interested in, you know, what is that daily consumption and what is an average uh, yield or harvest um, on, a, on a day. It's kind of noticed, you know, even though it's overcast, it's kind of like the uh the cloudy day the overcast i mean it kind of makes sense but um be interesting to see if it's not overcast and no clouds like what can this baby do so hopefully we'll see that tomorrow and then i'll post results so another thing um this battery the top battery is 69 percent the middle battery is 60 was that really 69 Turn back on. Yeah, 69% on the top, 66% and 68%. It's at 26.7, uh, 26.7, and 26.78. So kind of interesting um, considering these hit, you know, a gigantic bus bar at the same point. So um, it'd be interesting. You know, if it goes up to full charge, you'd think that they kind of all reset. Oh, the other thing, let me show you in on the servo. So I was playing around with this. I still don't have the settings from Signature Solar, but um, this right here, this ZT, that is that top battery. So I got into the uh, BMS, um, state of health, temperature, details, alarms, history. Um, so details, tells all of the cell information, um, says it's 200 amp. So I don't know how I got that to show up. I was just playing with a whole bunch of stuff and uh, it showed up. So right now you can see the smart shunt is um, doing the same thing. Um, so what I want to do is get the other two batteries, the two lower batteries. I have to do a software update to get them to communicate with the top battery because the top battery can communicate with this. And so if I can get the bottom two batteries um, to communicate with the top one, then they should all show up in here. Then what I want to do is kind of remove the shunt and I'll use the battery BMS as kind of like the keeper of all the information. So you can see like the shunt's going 4.9 amps, 5 amps, but that's 
on all three batteries where this is just one. So I um, thought that was pretty cool. I've got to figure out what the heck I did. It was in settings somewhere um, with services, I think, in this VE can. I think I put it into RVC and then this BMS can port. So I put this in here and uh, I'm not sure which one of those, the BMS or the VE can, which one it was, but um, it shows up now. So I'll start working on that software update. Well, it's noon on Thursday and I'm getting, I'll put it up here on the top, like 850 watts. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of clear skies but it's colder, it's like 55 degrees. Um, and I'm getting 850 watts out of 1260. Uh, I did get the 1200 one day a couple weeks ago, or a couple days ago, and the sun today, it doesn't feel like it's 57 degrees. It doesn't feel as hot. So I don't know, a lot to learn about the sun and, uh, clouds and haze and intensity and all that but I guess I thought today you know I saw 1200 the other day um, I'd get 1200 most of the afternoon here and I'm only getting 850 so I don't know um, I'll go ahead and see what the consumption from the bus is today total and the total sunlight today and then I'll put this video up on Friday afternoon well, we just got back from a uh, Kenny Chesney concert. I'll show a picture up here, it was pretty fun. And I was gonna try to get those panels adhered. I've gotta clean the top of the bus. I've gotta pull the panels up, it's my own doing. I gotta pull the panels up and like wash the bus and let it dry out and then adhere them back down. And we're supposed to have I've been waiting for it for a while. It's supposed to have this huge front roll through here. It's been like 20, 30 mile an hour winds. So I've just been kind of waiting. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up so I can post it. But uh, I'm gonna go up there and basically I'll scrub the, pull the panels up, clean the top of the bus, and then dry it out, stick them back down, and then just do some cable management. Gonna be leaving for Texas. Uh, gonna be bringing my twin brother and uh, we're gonna do, bus looks just like this, except it's uh, kind of a mint color. It's a pretty bus. So I'm gonna be putting the batteries and the wake speed and uh, getting everything tuned up on it. So it should be a fun trip. My brother's got a drone. So I think we're gonna try to do a drag race and uh, see who's fastest, pull some good zero to 60 times, maybe go to a drag, drag um, strip and do quarter miles. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt it. But i uh, going to go ahead and post this up. If you guys want to see anything, sometimes I think this video, I, I just went into a bunch of detail on how to pull the fridge out and put it back in. Um, I know how to do all this stuff. So um, if you want to see a video strictly on uh, how to wire it, um, maybe I'll do that next uh, when I come back. The solar... Uh, make sure nothing catches on fire before I tell you how to do it. Um, I'm going to run up here real quick. I had just taken some <clears throat> tape and adhered the panels down. So it looks like they're still down. This tree, there's some pollen in the air. And uh, these panels are just getting dirty something terrible but um, I'll post some of the uh, um, wattages that I've gotten over the last couple of days yesterday was supposed to be clear but it was a it was hazy I actually got better solar output on a cloudy day when the clouds kind of I had like 10 minutes of sunshine it went up to like 1200 watts and uh, during yesterday was just kind of hazy and I think I got like 900 out of it. But um, I'll go ahead and I'll post some information here on kind of my daily consumption. 
it's with the AC panel on. So there's some battery chargers for the uh, generator charger and for the house batteries. And uh, also we've got the refrigerator on and then we've got the DC power on. So the air compressor turns on every now and then and um, just some of the random DC items and uh, the servo and different things like that. So I've got my daily consumption, which is rather large. And uh, in comparison to what I can pull daily with the panels. So um, I'll post all that information and I'll go ahead and I'll put this video up. So thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll probably do another one on how I wired it. And then I'll do one, you know, on the trip down and back. Uh, probably uh, what we're going to do to this bus. I'm going to do the oil and brakes and shocks. And uh, on his bus, we'll be putting the batteries in. And then, like I said, we want to do a drag race if we can figure out a way to uh, get these two guys on the road somewhere. So be, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, lots to come. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. And uh, see you soon.